Hey, what's up? Today I'm porting my M155 oil pump. So not long ago, I ported a Mylodon or Milodon or however you say it, pump. But this time I'm going to be doing a Melling pump, which is a stock replacement pump that I got off of that Vortec crane engine. I'm going to be using it on the donor Vortec budget build and because I already showed you how I poured a oil pump, we're just going to do a quick, you know, before and after shot and maybe we'll do a comparison with the, the Mylodon. I still got it over here in the cabinet tore down. So let's get started. Okay, here's the M155 oil pump and they replaced the M55 because they decided to go with a larger pickup tube. The old 55 had a 5 eighths and this 155 has a three quarter size tube. Now the tube is a press fit and I'm going to have to remove it when I tear it down. So once you press fit them they're kind of uh, loose afterwards so I'll have to braise it if I want to reuse it or something else. Just FYI. But let's get to it. The melling pump's been tore down. And I also got out the Mylodon pump to compare a few things. First off, the surface finish on the milling pump is much nicer than was on the Mylodon before I resurfaced it. I'm still going to touch this up, but I won't have to put as much work into it. Then, the next most obvious difference is where the pumps mount to the main cap. On the melling, you can see it's just a drilled hole, whereas on the Mylodon, there's more of a recess in here, and that, the hole was actually cast, because I remember I had, I had to clean up a casting line throughout the whole hole, whereas this one is just drilled. So, I will kind of, you know, radius it some out of the hole on either side, because you can see a nice light indentation of where the main cap void is. So, like I said, I put a little bit of work into here, I don't want to spend too much time on the stock pump, but just touch that up some. Then, both pumps had a yellow spring for bypass pressure. And for the Mylodon, it had a roll pin. Whereas the Melling had this like tapered swedge rod or whatever. I mean, it's just pressed in there. And I, th I think I'm going to do the mod for both of them where I just drill and tap the bypass pin hole and put a bolt in there with some Loctite. So. You know, I'll order that here in a few. Also, I forgot to mention uh, for the, the Melodon, when I did that video, that I had to deburr this gear, and I had to also do it for the melling. And pretty much most pumps, you have to deburr this some so it doesn't catch on the hole when you pull it out and leave it like, you know, a nice scratch all the way through the hole. Just took a little bit of a file work, this needle file. And I forgot to mention earlier that the the reason they switched to a three-quarter pickup tube, I believe, was the pump, I think I think I read it primes faster and possibly cavitates a little less. So just FYI. If you want to see the difference, well here we'll compare them real quick. And there's the actual whole whole difference. You can see it's quite a bit. Okay, that's it for now. I'm going to get working on the milling pump, and I'll show you when I'm done. I almost forgot to show you the actual casting before I started working on it. Here it is. Okay. The main body itself is not bad. Get a light here. What's up? Got a little bit of a radius. Now I can still improve it, you know, grind down the casting, make it nice and smooth. And of course, for the cap, there it is. The nice little edge in there I can radius off, and, you know, work it over a little bit. So, there she is. I'll get started. Time for a quick update. 
Okay, I got all the porting and cleanup done. Now I'm just doing the resurfacing. Here's the cap, and I just went all the way down to the 40, and as you can see, it is only getting the outside pretty much. It is barely touching it in the center. But I don't need to touch all the way around. I just need mostly the outer strip. That's not even getting all that really. So this will take a minute. I've already done this side of the body. I got nice and shiny. Gotta do this one, which I'll do that later. I'll do that last because it's the easiest. <laughs> and I had touched this up real quick because there was like a water spot. I can't remember. Right on the outside, I decided just to give it a quick touch up. So, anyways, uh, I got about an hour probably to get this thing up done. Done. But I want, oh, I want to show you this here real quick too. I thought this might be interesting. These little six-inch rules make a pretty good, you know, rough straight edge. So, and you can see it there. There's some light. I'm not hitting the table. Remove the light. Yep. Well, at least the weather's gotten a lot nicer outside. I can leave the door open. Although, stupid leaves. <laughs> Anyways, I better get back at it. Time to wrap this up. Well, as you can see, I, I finished up earlier and I've already got cleaned up, so let's get to it. Here they are. The milling on the left and the Mylodon on the right. As you can see, the finish for the cover turned out pretty good. It's definitely more uniform, whereas this one would have taken much longer to get that you know center bit. And like I said, that's, you don't really need to worry about that. It's mostly just the perimeter where it's going to seal. Like right here, it's not right here, it's more around here. So, good enough. Well, more than, more than good enough, I think. <laughs> but, moving on. Here's a quick shot of the inside. Nice and smooth. Now, what I like about the melling is it's not an abrupt end they actually stop and like you know it, it was a little bit of a castle you know it's got a nice little curve it's harder to see that more I don't know if I can see it right here but it's, light there, huh? it's too much light it's more of a, a, a gentle curve after you blend it whereas the Mylodon is a straight 90 pretty much so the melon will, will flow a little better but I mean that's you know not a big deal Anyways, let's move on to the bodies. Okay. There's the milling. Turned out pretty good, I think. I still might add the anti-cavitation cavitation lines in a later video when I modified the gear and other stuff. And here is the Mylodon. You can see where I've <laughs> the work I did last time. I touched up a little, but not much, just a little in there. So I think they're both, you know, good pumps. I mean, obviously the Mylodon has a nice thicker casting, so it'll be good. And I do plan to put this this pump in a, probably the solid mounts, but I've heard Melling has rethickened their castings up a little bit. You know, they got a little too thin, so I don't know. We'll we'll see. Maybe I'll go with a poly mount and it's one solid, <laughs> just to be safe. Anyways, here's the end I really want to show you. If you remember, the mild on was more recessed, and now here's the melon. I didn't work the whole entire area, but I, did, I didn't even clean this up because I wanted to show you the, the, the actual line, you know, the indent. And you can see right here, I... <coughs> I got a little greedy with the big burr, so I was you know, doing the, you know, the fast burr, and it ran off on me and left a little mark. So, I, of course, it'll clean up no problem. So, But I think it turned out nice. And when you think about it, when you, when you look at the actual cavity on the main cap, it's right about 
this this I mean you got a little bit of depth and you're gonna be going around the stud so you're gonna be like this or this so you know every little bit helps I right, they turned out nice well this one this one turned out you know last time <laughs> you know what I'm saying anyways that's the one nice thing about having I guess multiple uncomple uncompleted projects is you can compare stuff before you use it and go back and fix other things you know from the experience of working on stuff again <laughs> so I hope you find this helpful thanks for watching keep it real